the future of Britain in the next 20, 30 years could be born white British blue eyed Muslims. Now, why would I say that statement when Islam itself accepts all? Now, in particular, in particularly in Britain itself, it's going to become more and more of a Muslim population. It may even become a Muslim mi majority in the future. That's up to Allah. Whether that's the case or not, that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video specifically to those people who generally think that if your kids and their grandkids would become Muslim, that that's bad for not only them or their society, but you don't actually analyze what's happening right now in Britain and how Islam could save it. Now, this is a very drastic statement to make. Save it? Why do you say save it, you may say? Why should Muslim women wear the hijab? Why should Muslim men cover up? Why should Muslim women cover up? Why should that be the case? Why should there be more people who go to mosques, who are more religious? This is something that I did not decide. I was not allowed in this country just because I wanted to establish a caliphate that many of you have this misconception of thinking about. I don't have this intention, nor does any other Muslim in the UK have it, nor in Germany, nor in France or any of these Muslim other populations. So I just want to make this very clear. I am not someone that is trying to take over the UK, nor Europe. I could care less. If it always is a non-Muslim majority, I don't care. It's not my problem. It's your secular own country who's allowed Muslims in the first place. And the future of Britain, whether you like it or not, will have some Muslim significance. It will be become and it will be a part and become of the culture. I remember when uh, the riots first happened, and they've all died down now because more people were against them than with them. And they realized the fools were actually the ones that were going out there and thinking they wanted to take, out, take back Britain. But in reality, nothing happened because there was no solidarity. People were against it because anything that they stand for now is seen as idiotic, is seen as foolish because of these riots. And no one will take these people serious anymore. Everyone will look at them and think your stance on certain political issues is now irrelevant. And when you have the stuff happening within your own country, where the STD rates are increasing, HIV is increasing, monkeypox has now become prevalent. The fact that there are sexual parasites that is not even talked to you about in school, and you can search this up like toxoplasma. The fact that these can change and alter your sexual desires. The fact that corn is pushed in society. The fact that the generacy is pushed in society. Your main focus should be trying to push that away. I, I hope that the people watching this are against what the West did originally. And I think you remember this about a year or two when they were really trying to push the rainbow community to the younger children. Everyone stood up in solidarity against it because they didn't want their kids learning this. They didn't want their kids growing up thinking that they're confused, that they were such and so. You probably didn't want that. And Muslims were the ones who also said we didn't want that because this is degenerate. This is not right. This is not normal. Yet you guys still are on the side against Islam, a religion that you don't even know about because you haven't even researched upon it. You don't even look at the previous caliphates that actually existed throughout history and look at how non-Muslims are treated. The fact that Muslims, non-Muslims in Muslim countries have and will pay a lower tax than Muslims. The fact that they were given protection, the fact that they could have governmental uh, uh, positions before, if you look at Qudoba, the fact that Jews could be lawyers, could even run in the court system, same with Christians, the fact that they could keep their churches, the fact that it was preserved. If you look at Philistine itself, there were preserved churches. We weren't the ones that destroyed them. If you looked at different places in Europe where there are old churches 
And it was from the time of Muslim rule, we weren't the one that ended up destroying them or giving them away. It was your government, not me. So next time that you think that we're the ones to blame, just really look. Are we the ones to blame for what's happening with your country? The fact that the generosity is getting higher, the fact that there's no competition anymore, that male being a man even is seen as barbaric and wrong. I'm sure you don't believe that. As Muslims, we believe that being a man is not only about strength, it's about patience, it's about controlling your tongue, it's about being a true man. And a true man is not just about strength. Whether you've seen it before, being strong is not just about being a man. Being a man is also controlling the tongue. And yet, you are constantly told that Islam is the enemy. You're told, and it's over-exaggerated, in major non-Muslim majorities, that apparently the Muslims are taking over. Where? Where do you look in the street? You go to Muslim areas, and of course, you see a high population of Muslims. There's no doubt about that. But if you go to a non-Muslim uh, area, you're going to see a non-population. Uh, and London itself is full of all of these multicultural uh, places, different people from different places, but yet being white is the majority. So this is why I say the future of Britain is not just brown. It's not just black. It's white. And in Britain, it may always be white. But the ideology is going to change. Europe and Asia had a phase where they looked to communism as the answer to their problems. They first tried to blame it on the people, then the government. They looked to communism out of a desperate attempt. And even right now, people are looking to the ideologies of before, to what the situation is in their country. The fact that your country is going to crap is not because of the Muslims. The Muslims who actually contribute so much to the economy, why do you think the government want them away? The doctors, the lawyers, the jobs that you don't want to do are done by immigrants, and most importantly, some are Muslims. And yet, you still think that be them being in your society is something to just push away because uh, they are Muslim. They may have different customs, but most importantly, they believe in God. If you saw a Christian practicing their religion, going to church on Sunday, reading the Bible, and they said that I couldn't work on this particular day because of this, or I have to go to church, would you allow them? Or would you not allow them and disallow them and say, you know what? I don't want to promote and support this. I want to support and promote the generosity because even though I'm Christian by, uh, culture i will not allow this because you know I, I i don't want religion but you guys are religious that's why it doesn't make any sense you acclaim religion so if you really want to be truly religious then why do you look at other religions who are dominating whether you like it or not with envy and jealousy if people leave your religion to come to islam why point it to the people leaving why don't why don't you point it to yourselves to really make an effort of trying to spread your religion better. Now, that might have been a bit insulting, but it's the truth. And many of you watching might be typing away, saying comments such as uh, these buzzwords, you know, because that's what I like to do. You don't have intelligent arguments, so you type buzz buzzwords. Get your emotions out of the way and really analyze what Islam is. If Islam is such a bar barbaric religion, then why? Is it that when you see Muslims, you see the most peaceful people? This is just something that I want you to ponder over. This is something that I want you to think about because they will try to utilize this. People will try to do this. In the UK, there's something called reform. They want to establish this. But these people don't want better for your country. These people are the same people if they get in charge guess what's going to happen? They're still going to allow immigration. They're not going to stop it. Do you think they're going to stop it? Knowing how much economy, how much of the economy is being um, boosted because of these immigrants, legal, by the way. 
And many people think they're illegal. Why do you think a country would allow illegal immigrants? Now, what's happening in the US and other countries is something I can't comment on. But for Britain, I can say for sure. The future of Britain is most likely blue-eyed, white-born British Muslims. And if you like that or not, do something about it. Look into the religion, but be civil. If you don't want to be civil, you're just showing that you aren't people that are useful in society and most likely someone that, fortunately, um, will be naturally weeded out just like in the riots. These people didn't even know what far right and far left meant, but they, yet they marched on the streets because of their own problems, because of their own relationships, because of their own family members. They've pushed them away. You have never had a brotherhood before. The people that you knew from school probably have done something to you, backstabbed you. You probably had one bad experience with someone who was foreign and just made that your whole experience. Or you're looking for bad. Because you all secretly want good inside of your heart. I know it. You're not all against Islam. Truly. Because you don't even know Islam. You don't even know what the religion is. How much charity we give. How much help we give. And I'm being unapologetic with this last statement I'm going to make. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to go on and try to beat around the bush when I say this. But if a caliphate is started within the UK, the only people criticizing it are going to be people who have not contributed to the economy at all and have no idea what Islam is because they will claim they know what Islam is. They've never been to a mosque. They've never met a Muslim. They refuse to, and they say they're evil, yet they don't even speak to them. There was a man in Texas, I believe, or in America, or somewhere in America, he wanted to blow up a mosque. And what ended up happening was that he met Muslim brothers, he also met a Muslim sister. And what ended up happening was he found out that, hold on, this religion is not evil, despite his own beliefs as someone who served in the army, and he eventually became Muslim. Someone who had hate within his heart, maybe just like you. Someone that wanted to do something very drastic. Someone like you. Because most people who are against this, they also have families. You also have families. What do you want for your child? Are you actually fearing the fact that your country might collapse because of the degeneracy or the fact that your country may be boosted with Islam?